with the animated movie Into the Spider-Verse and the Spider-Man game coming to PlayStation, there is a lot of web singing to be done. But today I want to look at how these stories must captivate the core beliefs of the Spider-Man to help guide their success. Spider-Man carries many titles, ones that he has warranted. The Spectacular Spider-Man, the Sensational Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man. But the one I want to take note of is the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. One of Spider-Man's biggest popularity points has always been that he is relatable. The character's writing was always based on Peter Parker first and Spider-Man second. At the end of everything, he is still a functioning member of society. He still has to face repercussions. For example, if he's out late helping to prevent a local bank robbery, this may result in Peter being late for class early the next day, or him missing out on an assignment for work because of an attack that happened during the day. These are problems that Peter Parker faces day in and day out, and they are problems that any regular person would have if they were tasked with being Spider-Man. He is one of us. He isn't the uncommon billionaire Tony Stark, nor is he the super soldier Captain America. Adding on to that, he still has an identity to protect and a life to live outside of being a hero. Spider-Man's story is one that is continuous in the sense that Peter Parker is constantly learning, maturing, and understanding the kinds of sacrifices it takes to be a hero. With this said, I want to present the quote that Spider-Man is known for. With great power comes great responsibility. But what exactly is Spider-Man's responsibility? It is one that may be simple to grasp, but much harder to perform. Spider-Man has responsibility of sacrifice, much like any hero to defend and protect those who cannot protect themselves. But what is unique about Spider-Man is that he is continuously understanding and realizing this responsibility of being a hero from the perspective of a high school kid. This quote also extends to him gaining these abilities. His responsibility is to prove that he was the right person to have gotten these abilities, to be worthy of the strength given to him, that he will use them for good. In the comics, he begins by using them for his own personal gain, but the death of Uncle Ben that he did not prevent sets him on the right path. In Spider-Man Homecoming, Tom Holland's Spider-Man had the responsibility of changing the fate of things that were in his control, making the best of what he had, and not biting off more than he can chew. For example, when the ferry was collapsing, he gained a false sense of responsibility. He believed that it was his responsibility alone to save all of the people on that ferry, instead of asking for help. This Spider-Man's journey was accepting his role as a grounded hero, something that he learned later on in the movie and it was illustrated when he declined Tony Stark's invitation to join the Avengers, understanding that in that moment he was better suited to be the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man and later on he could join the Avengers when the time was right. When he was stuck underneath the rubble, he showed that he isn't a fearless hero. That underneath that mask, it is a facade. At the end of the day, he is a 15-year-old kid, trapped, and he was scared for his life. And he first calls out for help. As no one answers, he begins to rally himself. Starting off by saying, come on, Peter. He then changes it to, come on, Spider-Man. As if someone were cheering him on. Illustrating that even without his suit, he is still Spider-Man. Underneath that mask, he still has to be Spider-Man. In order for a Spider-Man origin to be created, it should follow its predecessors. His story has always begun as a friendly neighborhood hero. He is meant to be a grounded hero, and even his villains relay this message. Look at Vulture. His goal was not world domination. He came across alien technology and started selling it to make a living for himself. A very grounded approach. He's not looking for world domination, just to feed his family. For Peter Parker and for Miles Morales, they are still kids and their stories should be relatable ones, tasked with real responsibilities and a real life outside of being Spider-Man. These Spider-Men must first go through the trials of understanding themselves and accepting their responsibility of saving those around them before moving on to bigger things. These stories should focus on creating real characters with real flaws and understanding that Spider-Man doesn't always make the best decisions. 
the very essence of Spider-Man has always begun as a coming of age story about responsibility. He is that kid that everybody knows, who grew up exactly like you and I, but he's just the one who got bit by a radioactive spider. Nonetheless, it will be very exciting to follow Peter Parker's journey in-game, and Miles Morales' animated origin story for the first time. 